we'll gauge the food box uh, curbside pickup and delivery options uh, for both paying customers and also for our food access work where we're, we're providing um, you know free food funded by other uh, we're going to have to pay careful attention to see which of those um, have legs and, and can stay. I can foresee a future in which the Saturday market will have a, a drive up feature for those people that, from a convenience standpoint, I would prefer that. And, you know, we think the Saturday market is a tremendous flavor of urban chaos that everybody wants to get out of their car. But, it, you know, it, you can, if you're a senior, if you've got small kids, maybe you don't want to jostle with 30 or 40 of your th closest, thousand of your closest friends. And so, We'll evaluate various forms of delivery. We also want to continue to work with the businesses around Eastern Market that are primarily wholesale related to see what we can do to help grow their business in that sort of uh, uh, hybrid space where they're offering a, a greater uh, opportunity for retail sales to people who want to take advantage of larger bulk purchases at, at better pricing. Uh, and then, you know, what we have seen is, is because of the economic downturn after the 2008 meltdown as well, a surge in the use of uh, EBT benefits, the bridge card, uh, SNAP benefits, and other aligned uh, where vulnerable households can actually increase their purchase of uh, healthy and nutrient-dense foods. And what COVID has exposed, I think, is so many of the underlying conditions in this country that led to the spike in death from COVID are diet related diseases whether 40 percent of those who died from covid worldwide were diabetic and, and there's a uh, one disease that's almost entirely treatable uh type 2 diabetes at least uh almost entirely treatable by uh changes to diet and so we would like to think that uh we, we can use this pivot point not just at eastern market but as a region where we can adopt healthier and more nutrient dense foods into our diet on a more regular basis and whatever we can do to help that uh, across the board from uh, you know the the most pricey uh, exotic mushroom to the, the most affordable basic uh, fruit and vegetable item uh, that has been the role of the market since its inception and you know <clears throat> not to be lighthearted too much but we're old hands at this uh, pandemic stuff this you know we were here during the spanish flu and uh there's not much of a record left of what we encountered then uh, so I, I think one thing we should do is leave some better notes uh for future administrators that hopefully this won't happen again for more than 100 years <laughs>